So you're looking up how to buy hosting for your WordPress website. Good call, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do it following the steps. The first step is gonna be clicking the link in the description or the pinned comment. The reason for that is that I keep it updated so you get the best deal, and of course, you can easily follow along. And if you stick with me, I'll show you how to save even more along the way. So when you arrive on this page, it'll look very similar to this. Sometimes they do change it around, but as you can see, you get up to 75% off web hosting. You get some great perks to go along with it. When you arrive here, what you want to do is click on claim deal. And if we scroll down, you can see these are going to be the pricing plans that you can choose when it comes to getting hosting for your WordPress website. So all of these come along with the ability to get managed hosting for WordPress, as you can see here, here, and here. Now the big question is, which one are you gonna wanna go with? So allow me to help you out a little. I don't know anything about you specifically, but I think I can really narrow it down to where you are or where you might wanna be. So if you are looking to create your first website ever, you've never done it before, Premium will probably be great for you. You get everything you need to create your website. Of course, you have your WordPress hosting. You get 25 websites with this, 25,000 visits monthly, 25 gigs. You also get 50 mailboxes and a big one here. You also get weekly backups. Clearly, there are going to be many other features, but those are some of the biggest ones that are going to stand out when you get premium. Okay, so... Next is going to be business, which is the most popular. This allows you to level up with more power and enhanced features. And a big thing here to note is that if you go from premium to business, it's only $1 more per month. So it's not that big of a stretch, something to keep in mind. With this one, you get 50 websites, 100,000 visits monthly, you get 100 mailboxes, and this is going to be one of the best features, which is going to be right here, in my opinion, the daily and on-demand backups. With this, you can protect your website data with automatic daily and on-demand backups. Daily backups are stored for seven days, and weekly backups are stored for seven weeks. So... This is one of the sleeper features that I talk about all the time. If you're like me and you feel like you're prone to breaking your website, I have done this in the past. So what happens if you created, say, a ton of blog posts, a lot of content, you redid your website, you maybe changed around the branding, the logos and everything, and something happens, you'll at least be able to get a backup from the previous day. But with this, if you created a lot of content, posts, and changed things around, you're looking at getting a backup from a week previously. And many times, if you did a lot of work in between that time period, you could lose out on a lot. So that is something to keep in mind where if you feel like you might be prone to breaking your WordPress website, mistakes happen, obviously. This could be definitely a feature that you might want to look into. So there are going to be some other perks, but those are obviously some of the biggest differences there. And last but not least, cloud startup. If you enjoy optimized performance and powerful resources, you'll know if this is one for you because like, do you need up to around 100 websites? Do you need 200,000 visits monthly? Are you going to need 200 mailboxes? Like if you didn't answer yes to any of those, then you probably don't need one. So all in all, you're either gonna be at premium or business. All you need to do is simply click on the choose plan for the one that you want. In this example, I'm gonna use the business plan. So what I wanna do is simply click on choose plan, but make sure you choose the one that's gonna be best for you. All right, so here comes the best part of the video that I think you're really going to like. Not only by going through my link are you gonna get the best updated deal, but even better, as you can see on the right here, you get a discount of 71%. And what you wanna do here is click on have a coupon code because I definitely have one for you. If you look down below in the description or the pinned comment, there's gonna be a coupon code and all you can do is just simply type it in or copy and paste it. After doing that, click on apply and you'll save even more money. My way of saying thank you so much for watching. Now. Now, I don't want to mention the coupon code specifically because very similar to my link, I am going to be updating it if needed. So I want to make sure that you always have a fresh coupon code that works, but it will be down there to simply copy and paste it, put it in here, click on apply and save some money. Now let's move on over to the payment periods. There are four that you can choose from. One month is never going to be worth it, and I'm going to explain why. But if you're going to be in this for the long term, I would definitely recommend 48 months. With this, you get your free domain and you also get three months free. This is gonna be the only plan that also comes along with three months free. It's also gonna be overall the cheapest per month on average. So it's gonna come out to around $3.99. Let's just call that $4 a month, okay? Let's go back to the 24 now. And you're gonna notice you still get your free domain. You don't get the extra three months. It renews at 14 a year after this payment period and you're looking at around $4.49 a month. The previous one was around $4. Let's move to 12. Once again, free domain, renews at 14. This comes out to around $5 a month. 
And last and definitely least is going to be one month. I never use this and I never recommend anyone use it as well. There's no big discount. It's just $14 a month right off the bat plus a $5 setup fee and you don't even get a free domain. So it's definitely not worth it and it's definitely not worth using. So what I like to say is that ideally when you have a website, you're gonna probably wanna have it for the long term. So if you don't mind paying a little bit more up front, 48 months is going to be the best value here, but definitely go with either 12, 24, or 48. That's where you can obviously make the best decision. Don't forget about entering that coupon code as well, clicking on apply, and you'll save a little bit more. Last but not least, let's click on the continue button once you've picked your payment period and added that coupon code in. All right, so there's two more simple steps here. What you wanna do is register for a hosting or account. Here you're gonna be putting in your email address and a password, or you could just simply register with Google. Make sure that it's a primary email here because they're gonna be sending you the details for your account, which is obviously very important. Upon doing that, click on the register button, and the simple last step is gonna be paying for it. Now, I already have an account, so I don't wanna register, but it's just gonna sum up everything that you're gonna be getting, and of course, the price that you're going to be paying as well. Now, something I do wanna mention here here is that I talked about multiple times that you're going to be getting a free domain as long as you're not using the monthly plan. And you might be curious about, well, where's that free domain? I never got to type it in. With Hostinger, you get it after you purchased. Okay, so it's going to be inside of your dashboard, inside your account. That's where you can get your free domain. So I just wanted to make sure you were aware of that because I know I brought up that perk a few times in this video. But nevertheless, that's how you can buy hosting for your WordPress website. I use Hostinger myself. I love them. They have great price, great value, and their customer support is even really good too if you need help. They tend to get back to you very quickly. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. But maybe if you were just watching this video to see how the process works, don't forget to click the link in the description or the pinned comment to get the best deal possible. And make sure you use my coupon code in the description as well to help you save even more money. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this hosting or tutorial, and I hope that you enjoy them as much as I do.